<laughs> Welcome to the Vincent O'Shana Show. I'm your host, Vincent O'Shana. Guys, before I even start, I want everybody, look on the bottom, there's a subscribe link. Click on that shit if you haven't already. That's why I'm starting the show. I appreciate all your support. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna start introducing everybody to my left on the control alt deletes. The very lovely, the very talented. She's back. She just got her registration on her car. Give it up for Kelly Arnold, everybody. Woo! She's in the house. Kelly was riding dirty Pat. for four years. Uh, just three. It was only three, three years. Three years riding dirty as shit. She's a Expired. badass. The cop pulled her over and she was just like, just go. I don't give a shit. Take me. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> um, also, guys, I'm back again. Uh, my home team crew. Dodgers always like, Vinny, I love the home team the most. That's my idea. So, uh, yeah, I know yeah. you do. So I brought him back again. <laughs> uh, first, she's an actress, singer, writer. And I said this last week. I'm going to say it again. She's an angel sent to us. <laughs> Oh From the heavens above. Give it up for Christy Prados, everybody. Give a round of applause. This dude, this dude, uh, just really, really fast. Me and Maverick were shooting a sketch here one day. We left the door unlocked like a bunch of assholes. And in walks this guy, suit, really nice. I thought he was going to be a mass shooter. He just walks up <laughs> and he goes, hey, uh, a valuetainment, Patrick, can I? I go, and we're like, dude, go talk to 5100. This is... Less than a year? About a year? About top of the year. Almost a year ago. Yeah. He's a rapper, bartender, philosopher, and a random building walking into guy. Give it up for Shamari CNS, everybody. Oh. Trespasser. <laughs> See you. And I know what everybody's thinking. Everybody, like, dude, when you have a beard for as long as I did, when you shave it, people look at you like you have AIDS. They're like, what the fuck did you do? <laughs> and I'm like, I, I miss want it. a clean face once in a while. Bro, and you know this, like, and, and you know this too, Alon. If you really grab your beard and smell it, it's disgusting, bro. It smells Vinny. like asparagus and nipples. You, you're it's alone boring. on that one. <laughs> no, <laughs> my, beard, smell? my beard smells like apples. Okay, relax. Dang, you have juices yeah. and berries in there fucking coming to America. Oil. Head right, and shoulders. Uh, thank you guys for joining. We're going to have a great, great show. We're up to 15,000 subscribers because of you guys. I love you guys to death. Uh, you guys ready to pop the show off? Are you guys Let's ready for the go! show? Two guys don't even speak English in the audience, Woo! but they don't give a shit because we're going to go with it. We're going to go with our Spaniard. first segment, and it is called What the Funk. <laughs> yes, that's how we roll, Elon. All right, where am I at? Look at that, look at that, in frame, right off the rip. All right, guys, for you guys that don't know, uh, Kelly's going to play a bunch of clips that she, actually, Kelly hasn't seen them. A bunch of people said them to Kelly, so I love Kelly's reaction. It's a bunch of people doing stupid shit, but instead of reacting by ourselves, we're all going to do it as a it's group a and talk shit. Is that cool with you guys? Yes. Yes. All right, Kelly, roll it. Let's go. Oh, my God. Oh, white guys, love it. This song is going to die. Stupid. Oh. Yes, ah. yeah, 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 good. <laughs> oh, my God. Nothing makes me happier than that. Yes. Where Nothing makes me happier than that. Look at this asshole. Wait. Look, look. Oh. <laughs> oh. No, 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 no. What? What? What Not is it. he doing? All right, lad tries to jump across the canal. Obviously, this he didn't do it. This is an automatic fail. Look, look. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, my God. I love those moments. I love those. No. I love it. His coccyx is And the friend doesn't put the camera down, it. mind you. Friend never yeah, puts the camera down. That's a good friend. You ever notice Dude. that? That's oh a friend. God. We got to get it for the gram. That's You're it. Damn we right. gotta you got to get it for the gram. Go ahead. Dude. Look, he's still in it. Oh, 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 Stop, Kelly, go back. You I want to see that one again. Oh, his face hit his crotch. <laughs> oh, my God. How to give yourself a blowjob. There you go. Pretty oh, cool. Keep going. Instructional <laughs> video. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, oh. I thought that was the guy from the skyscraper that oh, made it. I love yes. it. Yes, a win. Oh my God, let's go, baby. I thought his balls were gonna be gone. That was sure. a massive cannon. No, but he got an enema on the way in. Oh, for sure. Go ahead. Oh, we'll have to kill. Wait, him. I didn't see. Oh, imagine I being not... how drunk. Let me see. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know that's Vegas. That's definitely Las Vegas. <laughs> Poor oh, thing. Yeah. Oh, what was she trying to do, dimension. Karina? I don't even know what she was trying to do. We got this. Oh, 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 you have to go back. It says when you're trying to decide to show off for your crush and you crush your face. Look at this idiot. Oh, I've been there. Oh, 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 oh. shit, son. Oh, you heard that? Oh, shit, son. I would cry. Oh, my Ooh, God. Work. Work. What is she doing? Get it, girl. Ankle. Get it. <laughs> I love it. 
I love it. Good for you. I twisted high. my ankle crossing the street. Yeah, before. yeah, yeah. yeah give it up for what the fuck, everybody! <laughs> oh my god. I've never seen somebody snap. Oh, dude. I can't. He, he was folded in half, bro. Oh, you yeah. talking about the dude that jumped off the roof? The dude that jumped off the, the roof? Like that forward. Yeah. And, he wore, and he wore them high like ass boots. Bro. Throw up on I thought, did you hear snap? I heard something snap, like somebody's leg snap. I, th I think his knees exploded. Yes, bro. Oh, Thank you. Hey, whoever you are out there for doing stupid shit to give us Gross. these moments, I appreciate it. But anyway, um, as some of you guys know, and I talked to some of the audience, Leo, we talked about this in the back. I used to be a drinker. Um, some would call it alcoholic. I like to call it fun drunk guy. I was afraid, exactly. <laughs> I'm a fun drunk guy. Uh, and during those fun times, I did a lot of stupid shit and I recorded it. Well, I didn't record it. Some people recorded it. And uh, this one, dude, that's why you gotta love, who, who's like Steve Jobs? Was he the guy that told the people enslaved them to get iPhones? Yeah. yeah. Was it Steve Jobs? No, Steve yeah, Jobs, thank you. Wherever you are, up or down, heaven or hell. But my friend, I would do so much. This is in Los Angeles. Because I tell people all the time, I was a late bloomer. I didn't smoke weed till I was 23. Think oh, about Jesus. that. So when I was That's in LA, so yeah, cool. bro. So, I, so oh, yeah. I was doing drugs way too late. Like yesterday. Like anyway. The recovery is not so, the same. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so one of these times, my boy Renee recorded me when I tried to rob a local 7 Eleven oh, with a banana. And can we please show I need that to moment? See this. Thank you. <laughs> Give me all the little Madeline cookies. I want all the bracelets and give me all the lighters. You got the goo that you do eat. Okay, go ahead. Take your pants off. All right. Take your pants off. All right. Come on. I don't want. Can I get it? Can I get a green cheese? Put that I don't want that. All right. Hey, you know what? If I get in disguise. Come on. I got Hey, see me here. <laughs> so, so, do you guys want to laugh about this moment? So this guy, his Did name is Dev. Oh, Dodge. I never. No, I knew him because I lived like two seconds Funny. away. He never ever spoke to me. I'd come in from doing shows. He'd be late. He'd always be like, you know, no, no dialogue. And then one day I came and I had a blunt. I'm in weed, weed moment. And I was like, hey, uh, Dev, do you smoke? And he's like, you mean cigarette or? I go, no, no, you smoke. He goes. Oh yeah, I want, I want, and we go outside. I got him so <laughs> fucking high. He's like, my friend, you want pizza? I have it. <laughs> no, I forgot. I'm like, no, nah, Dev, I'm good. And but then, yo, because of that moment, we bonded us so much That's that cool. from that moment on, every time I came in and it was packed with people, he'd go, hey, Vincent, hello, my friend, and he'd give me. <laughs> <laughs> he made the cut. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He made. Uh, he, I love that guy. So Dev, if you're out there, I love your death. But anyway, no, guys, man, weed is great for you, man. I've made, weed? I've made a lot of great friends through smoking Mar weed. Dude, Amen. And I, I used to, I used to try to hate on it, and not, not hate. On it, cause, dude, I get really, really weird. What the? Fuck was that? <laughs> we're, what not even, we're not even high. Was that, was that, <laughs> am I stoned? Am you might I be high? imagining it. Uh, no, but dude, the and operator. then I realized, cause I have high blood pressure. It's really weird, you know. Like, and I'm being weird. Cocaine, I'll go to sleep. Marijuana, really? it's like I'm on dr cocaine. It's weird. Cocaine I don't know. does nothing for me, man. Really? I've, I've tried Same. it a couple times. No just, effect. You too? It's like just yeah. a cold nose drip in the back. Yeah, I don't, and, I don't and get you ever it. think maybe it's not cocaine? <laughs> You're Finally. just doing like uh, you're laxative. Speaking, I'll you're give like, you a story. Yeah, that's actually funny. You're like, I don't get high, but I shit in my pants. <laughs> I'll give it's you a story. It's called baby speaking laxative. Of, <laughs> speaking of thinking that a drug is something when it's not. Yeah. So I remember this one time, probably back in like 2013, 14. Anyway, I was looking for a job, so I couldn't smoke weed because I'm like, I got to pass piss tests. Yeah. Did you walk into a random building like you did here? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> oh, okay, go no, ahead. No, no, no. Right, <laughs> I pulled up on my boy from high school. Shout out to Handy L if you're watching this. Yeah. Um, so Handy's like, yo, I got some shit that's not weed, but it's light weed. Oh, no. <laughs> that's, that's where I'm at. First off, if anybody ever tell you that spice. a drug is like a drug when it's not but a drug, not a drug. <laughs> don't do no, it. <laughs> so, it. Yeah. anyway, we go into his crib. It's dirty as shit. That, that's all. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said oh, that much. Okay, go, anyway, we go. go into the crib. And he likes it. He puts this shit in the pipe. It looks like weed. It's like a little green sticky substance. He puts it in there. Mm -hmm. And the first thing he tells me is, don't hit it like it's weed. Oh, God. Right. K2. Yeah, that yeah, shit. yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So I take the biggest hit off of this pipe. And man, when I tell you, I found myself in another dimension. What was it? 
It was something called Scooby Snacks. Jesus Christ. It's like, oh like my K God. Spice, K2. Is that K2? Yeah, I've, I've had it. It's, okay. it's what a wild is it? What? You, you know what I'm talking about then. So I woke thing. up. I know. I'm scared. I went on a trip. I went on a trip. And man, when I tell you, the only thing I saw in the, in the, in the trip was fractal patterns. Like it was like triangles oh just Oh my God. That's the raining, MT then. Raining. And then it changed into like this big uh, hypnotist circle. Oh and in God. the circle, if you look close, there was a mean, there was like words. And the words said, life is life. And it just went like this in oh a circular God. pattern. And then in the, anyway, <laughs> I'm I having up, a fucking flashback I just woke off up, of my shit. <laughs> I woke up on... The guy's washing machine soaked in water, and he said, bro, we didn't know what to do with you. Oh, so, my God. So we washed you? <laughs> he dumped the water on me. We bathed him. It goes a little deeper than that, but I'll, yeah. I'll say that I think K2 time. was the drug that the Florida man had in his system when he, like, ate Scoop that snacks. other person's face. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, I so. remember that. Makes that, you that violent. Craze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, yo, but yo, but yo, <laughs> shout, out, shout out to Florida, bro. Scooby snacks, Leprosy baby. is back, bro. Did y'all <laughs> Leprosy came back. And when people are like, we're not living in biblical times. Bullshit. A biblical disease is back. Shout out to Florida. Blah, blah. Anyway, Florida man. Um, first story, uh, well, first topic we're going to talk about uh, is a story that came out last week about Barack Obama, uh, his biographer, who years ago revealed that Barack Obama's, uh, he uh, told a girlfriend in letters about his gay fantasies and labeled the former president as insecure as Trump. And, he, and this is the biographer, wow. mind you, says he's too lazy to serve on the Supreme Court in a new bombshell interview. Uh, and sitting down with a lengthy Q&A, mind you, this guy's a Pulitzer Prize winning. He's a winner, historian. David Garrow also renewed claims Obama's first memoir was fabricated, uh, <laughs> slamming it as fi uh, fictionalized an attempt to uh, inventing a racial identity struggle that never happened. So this 1,078-page uh, biography that's called Rising Star, The Making of Barack Obama. He said that he considered a gay relationship while at college yeah. and he cheated on Michelle, whatever you want to call it, Michelle, uh, with his ex during the first year. <laughs> In a letter to former girlfriend Alex McNair, this is Obama wrote to this girl, he allegedly confessed that he had uh, repeatedly fantasized about engaging with men in sexual relations. What do you guys, like mind you, this is in 2017 he wrote it, all you keep hearing now is gay rumors about Barack Obama. I'm gonna go to you too, Chrissy. What do you? What do you? You have go a to weird Shamari so first. Well, Shamari, what are you thinking? <laughs> I, I don't like the motherfucker. Oh, oh you, I, you don't like Obama, period. Uh, no, man, he killed Gaddafi. I don't. I don't oh. like you, man. <laughs> oh, oh, the oh, one Jesus black, the one guy, the one black president we had killed the guy that was gonna unify Africa. I don't like him. I don't Ooh. like him. Wow, hey, listen, feels like a you, traitor to me. Dodge, are you a, are you a Barack Obama fan? Mixed emotions. Mixed emotions. So I, here, I think he was, my, he's all right. Here's my question too. Manuel. What, I, I got the I get the allure. Sort of. The first black president. Mind you, because I was I was aware. I was old enough to know. I could see what they were doing. The yes, we can. The using the racial thing to get somebody in there. That the policies horrible. What, what what's your what's your negative side? I could see the positive. Why somebody would want to vote for somebody you know younger and obviously a brilliant speaker. What would be the negative side that from what you saw Dodge from his uh, presidency, his eight years? Yeah, uh, definitely with what Shamari has talked about in terms of all the drone strikes. He was yeah. one of the most hawkish presidents we've had on foreign policy, really in the 21st or 20th century. He he has he cuts a unique figure in that regard. Mm -hmm. Um, he was a smooth criminal, man. Yeah, Doug, Doug, yeah, do, you think, I, do you think him being a closet homosexual had anything to do with him being angry and going, I'm going to fucking All those kill drones everybody. compensating for something. Yo, that's what I'm saying. Those phallic-shaped drones. My question is, was it. he a top or a bottom? Barack looks like he's probably smart because he's probably cool. He's, he's really cool. Be he's probably top. back there like, hey, I'm, I'm fucking from behind. He's got some motion. <laughs> he's like, got some motion. Yeah. I think he was a top. And then, Okay. <laughs> I love that. But yo, and it's, it's just kind of weird because now, okay, the, his, the chef died. At Martha's oh, yeah. Vineyard, mind you, all these stories came out. Barack was there. Michelle was there. Who knows what happened? You know that a week later, Barack was seen with a black eye and cuts on his finger. Yeah, I'm just throwing that out there. And then Kelly, you have that first video. I don't know if you guys remember this. Let's, let's go. Let's go do a timeline. Larry Sinclair, mm. back back in the early days, uh, went in front of uh, Congress and said what him and Barack Obama used to do when Barack was a senator. Kelly, can you play this really quick? Yes, I can. Let's, let's, let's do it. He the limousine with $250, which was provided to him by me. Returned a short while later with an eight ball of cocaine, which he gave to me. 
I did ingest a couple of lines of cocaine, and shortly thereafter, Senator Obama produced a glass cylinder pipe and packet of crack cocaine from his pocket. Oh. Obama then smoked the crack cocaine. I performed fellatio on Senator Obama in the limousine during the time Senator Obama was smoking crack cocaine, after which I had the driver take me to my hotel, the Comfort Suites, Gurney, Illinois. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, okay, but look, we don't, by the way, now I like him a lot more. <laughs> but y'all ready for this? The guy in that video, he was run over and hit by a car like nine times. The car just kept. What? That guy's dead. And now, okay, listen, and mind you, you know Adam always says follow the money? Follow the bodies. Are you ready for this? Joan Rivers. Joan Rivers once said she was asked about seeing a president, if, if she could ever see a gay, first gay president, and she was like, Obama we is gay one, and yeah. called Michelle a trainee. Kelly, can you can you play this video really fast? I can. Thank you. I'm so excited. Yeah. And I should do very well because I don't show. And do you think that the country will see the first, the United States will see the first gay president or the first woman well, we president? We have it with Obama. So <laughs> look, let's just come look, look, Listen, listen. You know Michelle is a trans. <laughs> I'm sorry, she's a what? Transgender. We all know. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, by the way, what? she's like, it's okay. My way. She goes, it's okay. A career move for you. know what? She died, guys. She died. Hold on. She died. Mind you, she died in a, in a regular medical procedure, on, and her daughter the sued them. I don't know if she won or not. But isn't it weird? Like you say it's some shit like weird, that, Vinny. and you die. It's. I mean, weird. she was also in her 80s, but. No, 100. percent No, and mind you, I put all those factors in, but it's like it's. The other guy got hit by a car. It's at what point, and I talked about this today at the office, at what point are we going to stop going, kids, come on, people die. She's 80. This happens. And can't we just one time go, wait a minute. This is some, she said transgender. This is in 2000. This is young years. This is 20, no, this 24, is 2014. They're this is trying to kill Jimmy 2014, Carter. that's because a long time. She's talking about transgenders. Yeah. I didn't even know they existed but back then. why does Joan Rivers know? That's I not, that's, how does she she's know? In Hol well, because in Hollywood, you, she's probably been in some crazy ass rooms. I don't know about the Obamas. I know, bro. And he was just, also the first president to like really push for the legalization of gay marriage, and he was the early one on he to did really, it, and then he switched. Yeah. There was yeah, some yeah. fruity shit going on in the Obama yeah, and, yeah, and 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 just and going to uh, Pat was on uh, Rogan, and he asked Rogan, "Who's your favorite?" Slight president. name drop. I like it. I like no, it. well, I mean, and he did it's silent, but you know, it happened, and because I, I was there, and he said uh, Joe Rogan was like Obama, and he's like, "Why? Why do you say that?" Because he was a statesman, Rogan said statesman, right. and he just, he was presidential. And I always say, like, bro, Americans, we are, we are so, because mind you, we get screwed by every, I don't care who, shit, we always get screwed. But Americans, I realized after Trump, we like to be coddled, like nice, and we want to be brought on a date, they, give me an appetizer, tuna tartare, and then you fuck me. That's, that's how Americans, I don't like but Americans fuck. want the appetizer. Like they all. want the like, oh. Oh, and that, so when people go, well, at least he spoke well and he was a statesman. I don't get, I want somebody that's like, hey, we're fucking tonight. And that was Trump. Trump was like, hey, I'm here and we're fucking on the first date. I think a nice healthy balance is what we're kind of yeah. looking for. I feel like you want someone who's well-spoken, but you also want someone who's effective and who actually um, establishes what they say that they're going to do. Yeah. So I think we got Obama with the nice wording and like the, smooth. you know, the smooth, smooth you get whatever talker. you want, whatever you want, I'll give it to you but then doesn't do anything, makes absolutely no change. And then you have Trump, who's literally creating effective policies that are actually helping our country, yeah. ending wars, all that stuff. But then he's not a great politician when it comes I to speaking. I think Americans love it when so. everything is smooth sailing, man. Nobody likes it when we rock the boat. That's what but the problem you with Trump like, was. You're saying average right? Americans. I like the boat being rocked because how... Like okay, Trump. Of course, you like the boat being rocked. You're a comedian. You get some. You get I some material it. out yeah, of but, it. Yeah, but but but. But I ahead. think for the general population, everybody likes to wake up. It's a normal day. I'm gonna go to work. I'm gonna get my no, check man. on Friday. Oh, it's kind of it's, like. It's, he, but he's right. He's. I want you to see a finish. I'm just I mean, talking right. about the general Americans population. Do the, yeah, they, they, they want to be just. Yeah, they don't want to be bothered. I want to be coddled. I want to sit behind the mask. I want to sit behind the, the, the veil of uncertainty yeah. and go about my day this way. Yeah, I, I, he's right. Because no. once we address it, it's like, I, I can't remember the exact scene, but there was a scene in Men in Black where um, Tommy Lee is explaining to Will Smith why we don't tell the world about aliens. Yeah. It's because Cindy wants to go do her thing, and she doesn't want to have to think about the ugly underbelly of the world. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, it's like they like say the, the dark web, and yeah. we were talking about the dark web last time, like the dark web is 80 to 90% 
percent of the of internet. Course. The ten percent is the Facebook you go on, the Instagram, <laughs> the Valuetainment.com. Shout out to Valuetainment.com. You go we're there. Oh, yeah. uh, get your news articles. And yeah. this is where we want to be. We don't want to go onto the deep underbelly of society. I, I, go ahead, Chris. Say what you're gonna well, say. Well, that's why like the whole Matrix thing was super is so relevant right now. It's like, do you want to know the reality of things, or do you want to stay in this like Matrix of everything is dandy? My whole thing is like everybody talks about. Think of it like food, right? Like when you go to a really, I've been to really really nice restaurants and the presentation is spectacular and when i eat it it is so disgusting yeah i have to like put a face and be like yeah. oh, but it mm. looks great yeah. and then the ones who have a good reputation are like yo you got to go to that mom and pop shop in the oh, corner always. the food yep. is does not look great but it is fire okay yeah, yeah. and they stay in business that's what i want when it comes to our policies and when it comes to our country i want shit to get done yeah. you know not just words not just fancy things that's like empty promises i'm so tired of that yeah i don't and, know if i want that because america is a bully like if we really think about it america is, a, yeah, is, but a, am- is the bully of the world it's it, and we justify being well, the bully by doing by saying that we're protecting freedom and all the good well, things we're the, in we're the, the, we're the we I, I don't know who gave us the label we're the police of the world, we are involved. I mean, we have Police. bases. Every country, yeah. every Bully. country looks out for themselves. Every country does not get involved into something else unless they benefit from something. No one's gonna just be like, "Oh, let me just help Ukraine because I really care." Like nobody does that. And America is the one who always ends up getting involved in so many other people's wars, and sometimes unnecessarily. So I think that every country is gonna do it, and we always get involved in things, and sometimes we shouldn't. I, but I agree. there's a lot of benefit in it, and, and I, I, I don't think, on that. I and know. I don't think that it comes from like a bullying. Place. I think it really depends on like case by case. Like, what are we getting ourselves into, and why? Know, and I think, if, I think though, if we were too, if we were very honest, we were blatantly honest with the way that America works, we wouldn't necessarily have this thing called American pride unless you were proud to be whooping ass. And I, I'm a person who I be, I'm proud to be whooping ass as American. Of Don't course. get it twisted. Yeah. Of course, this is the now, better. I know you're. you're, you're the other way people? we live, we live well. We have diversity. We treat each other well. We have a high living standard. I mean, that's. That's the American recent. pride that people forget. It's not just pushing yeah. other countries around. Exactly. I agree. No, and I agree. But and, and going back to the point that I was making is somebody came in. Trump was an outsider. He came in. He shook it. And I don't give. A, I don't give a shit what anybody says. They could comment. They could talk shit. There's videos I'll show you from the 80s, late 80s, where he was on Letterman and all these shows that he would never go on again because they're all leftist, brainwashed assholes. America. I love America. Put right. America first. He was always preaching this. Came in, didn't really think he was gonna win. Well, he came in as a Republican. He and came that's as a. Why. I mean, he had to because you know he had to pick but a party. But that's why they started. They started against switching. Him. And then, but but think about this: a person that's coming in for the people, trying to stick up for us. Think about it. From from Hillary lying about the the, the dossier with Russia to everything to the deep state to people inside to Fauci. Bro, the guy had zero chance. And then we talked about this today. How ironic is it? And dude, you couldn't write this. A writer couldn't come up with this unless they were brilliant. Uh, election year comes and the country that this guy the president has been talking shit about and making them pay their fair share in trade and everything putting their foot to the fire mm-hmm. a virus comes out of a lab in Wuhan that we own that we fund just after the primaries right were election. finished yeah, right. yeah exactly oh my right good timing good timing because I don't care listen to me Jesus Christ himself could have been the president of the United States waving hello COVID hits you ain't voting for that guy, bro. You're going to vote for the guy that's in the basement. Where's, where's no, Joe Biden? No. Where was he? Hiding in the basement because people, they, they knew this motherfucker had no chance. But not only that, in 2019, nobody was going for Biden. I remember Zero. I had my roommate and he was a Democrat and we would watch the primaries together. So we saw the Democratic um, debate yeah. and it was with all of them, with Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders and yeah, like Biden. Right. And I remember everybody, like all of the Dems that I was with, they were all like, yo, Biden has nobody to go. For Biden. Biden nobody. has to go. Like he is for sure going out. He wasn't answering effectively. Everybody was for Warren or for Sanders. Yep. Um, so and then the all of a sudden, yeah. yeah, all of a sudden he wins. Yeah. Yeah. And well, you're just Bud- like, wait, Buttigieg who? just won Iowa, then dropped out a week later. Yeah, who I mean, does that? That's not normal in election it's primary just history. Odd. Exactly. It's very, like, yeah. very, very odd. No, but no, and I feel, but it's like. Everybody forgets that part. Yeah, but. Because the COVID happened. Yeah, exactly. And then Biden, it, it, Biden was just, to me, he was just the band aid to a problem that we didn't know how to fix. No, one, one, listen, the, I mean, the literally the most perfect analogy, and because it's like, we're going to make this guy look like a demon, which we've been, we've been trying forever. Now, COVID, say it's an accident or it was on purpose, leaked by their military. I, listen, biological warfare, nobody's ever going to know. They're never going to give us the answers. Still to this day, they still can't put their finger and say COVID came from Wuhan. It's yeah. every week is perhaps more evidence. Just 
fucking well, say it. No, they say it, but then I've they, dis- they distract people. They distract people um, with something else. Same thing with like Hunter Biden and everything happening with the Biden family. There's always an indictment right after. You saw that, that thing out. where it was every day, everything, every time something happened with Joe Biden or Hunter, yeah. the next day, Trump was Trump's indicted. indicted. But I'm going to tell you, I, I don't know about what you just said, like where you said the that where we have a problem putting a finger on the fact that it was Wuhan. Yeah. I remember from the beginning of the pandemic, it was Wuhan. You do. You do. Like, but you, I don't remember being confused as no, that you this weren't. Came from China. But hold on, you couldn't even say it was from yeah. China because Trump was there and it was racist. You couldn't say it on the internet, but I was in, with me and my homies. We yeah, knew it course. came from Wuhan. But but look how but Shamari, my point exactly. Look how powerful they are that you still can't. It was racist till last year, yeah. and but, now you still hold on. It's not definitive yet. It's not. 100% they won't even say it, that it came from there. But because I don't we need, all these assholes are dicks. I don't need the government to tell me that the sky is blue. <laughs> it's the yeah, yeah, to me. But how are you going to hold people accountable? How are you going to hold people accountable when you still can't say, listen, Let, right. I, I want to sue you. Listen, I want to sue these assholes. Oh, we owe you how many, a trillion dollars? No, we ain't giving you shit. I mean, not like we're going to give them shit anyway because we have nukes. I'm going to put it to you like this. Let's say we do hold Wuhan and China uh, uh, responsible. What are we going to do then? Are we going to go over there, bomb them? Are we going to go put a tariff on them? What are we going to do about it? Now, especially not under this Biden character. No, but if you're talking about Trump, Trump may have put a tariff on them. And Trump was ready to go do all of that. But the world was so upset. We got to get rid of this guy, Trump. Trump is the bad guy. Trump is the evil reason that we're all sick and dying. When in fact, it had nothing to do with Trump. Yep. And Trump was trying to do everything he could to get us back on track and keep the economy going. Started the whole Operation War Speed to try and get a vaccine as quickly as possible. Yep. And then they got this whole spin on it that it was just a money play. But what was the best option? Let people die and have no solution and just say, go ahead, do your natural selection thing and... Your immune system will figure it out. That's when you're. That's when somebody like when I say China owns our dicks. They you, what? Nothing. What are you gonna do? Nothing. We're not gonna do anything. Which hold on. This is great because this gets. Wait, how did we get here from no, Obama this is, being gay? This is beautiful because <laughs> no, listen, we're, he's already. That's how. That's how far it's stretched. Wait, <laughs> one, one more thing before we switch yeah. off Obama being gay. I think he's the reason that Hunter was doing crack. I think Hunter and him were doing wow, crack together. Together. Because <laughs> you can't have one crackhead under the same that's roof and there not be wow. two. That's just drug wow. dealing law. But dude, Obama, give together. it up to Obama, though. He went from blowing a dude to the car, doing crack, to, to the bl- president. And so that's, that's why up. Biden's so cool with it. Yeah. Because the crack was happening a long I, time I before Hunter crazy, got exposed. I did hear a crazy story that Hunter was partying with the Obama's daughters. Anyway, we're going to get to that later. Oh. Anyway, so now look at, oh, look at how we're talking about I want to party Obama, with the homosexuality, the historian, uh, COVID. I don't know how the hell COVID happened, but dude, perfect. <laughs> it goes into our next story. I saw... A compilation. By the way, because I'm so angry because of what they did to us. What the media, what the government, what Fauci, that little rat, no accountability for any of them. I saw a compilation that I sent to Kelly. She's going to play it on Twitter. It pissed me off. It's of the, the left wing media and all these talk show hosts, losers, shaming and scaring the unvaccinated to get vaccinated. It actually got me fucking mad. And that's why I was yeah. like, I had to talk about it. Kelly, can you please show, show this clip? Roll it. Roll it. You are the unvaccinated. You are the problem. It is the unvaccinated who are the problem, period, end of story. The only people that you can blame, the only people you can blame, this isn't shaming, this is the truth. Both fired. Maybe they should be shamed, but the unvaccinated. It's time for the start Unemployed. blaming the unvaccinated folks, not the regular folks. Anyone you came into contact with will blame you as will the rest of us who have done the right thing by getting vaccinated. Because frankly, we know that we can't trust the unvaccinated. I think it's time to get our moral house in order, Anderson. It's the unvaccinated who are the threat. All those vaccinated folks are going to start wearing masks to protect the unvaccinated folks. It's called a Christian value. (laughs) Basically punishing the vaccinated uh, for the the sins of the unvaccinated. People are not behaving Golly, honorably. The unvaccinated are basically saying, that woman well, it's open evil. season for me. I can do whatever I want as well. The, the unvaccinated are basically beating their breasts and running around the country saying, ha ah, ha, we don't care. We're living free and so forth. You've been patient. Look, look. But our patience is wearing thin. The unvaccinated, a loser. group that includes children and people acting like children. <laughs> the rest of us so are funny. starting to get pissed Unfunny off. Bastard. The vaccinated feel the unvaccinated are making me upset or angry. This is not about freedom or personal choice. Well, my- oh, and by the way, I know that's all good because that was part one. There's like three parts. 
The next one was Schwarzenegger, who I absolutely hate. He goes, the hell with your freedom. By the way, with that accent, you can't tell everybody, fuck your freedom. I don't want to hear that <laughs> out of your disgusting fucking mouth. But yo, so think about it. That bothered me so much because all that rhetoric, careers were ruined. Uh, and now they forced it. They made people, scared parents, to give it to their children, Christy. And now myocarditis, which is a real thing. It's, not, it's a phenomenon. All these young people are getting it. I saw a doctor that was interviewing on Twitter. Uh, I think, well, I don't know if it was Elon. It was, on, it was on one show. Legitimate doctor. And he's like, oh, if you have my, myocarditis, you have a good 10 to 12 years and you're kaput. You're dead. But now people, and mind you, everybody's backtracking. And then there's another video, before we get into it, Christy, another video that the creepiest video of them all was ex-mayor de Blasio when he was pushing the vaccine. He's eating, did you remember this, Dodge? He's eating french fries. Think about this. He's selling you to pitching you to take a, an experimental drug, a vaccine, and he's saying the fries and this burger. Look how disgusting and creepy this piece of shit is. Go ahead, Kelly, play it. Free fries when you get vaccinated? Look, um, look at this. I got vaccinated. Look at this demon, Leo. Look, look. You're saying I could get this? You delicious fries? Look, look, look at who eats Wait a minute. Look, wait a minute. But there's also a, a burger element to this? Put this drug in you. For, let, me, for, let me check with Bill Neithart. Is it too early in the day to eat a burger? No. This can oh, be Oh, really? Oh, he has to talk to his, okay. his, his handler. I want you to look at this and think about, oh my God. again, some people love hamburgers, some don't really want to Yeah, he wants to be neutral, me or not me. Oh if this God. is appealing to you, just think of this when you think of vaccination. Oh, my God. Mm. Dude! Dude! Vaccination. Mm. Mm. I'm an experimental drug for a $5 burger. I'm getting burger. a very good feeling about vaccination right this moment. Oh, my God. This Fucking. is pretty All right, so, like, go. Look, Free we're going to look back at this in 20 years and be like, what? the hell kelly go ahead what it makes me absolutely sick yeah because of especially how i reacted to the vaccine yeah and how i feel now and yeah. then uh, you know uh, it's it, this guy's basically get fries or die <laughs> and You're i right. don't it's true I, it's not it's not <laughs> I the love that. stress I had already had COVID, yep. and uh, you know the stress of like trying to protect your family, your parents, whatever. And now I have like a, a circulation issue. Where Great. My entire left side so of my body was that. numb. I, it's like the heart thing is real. Like it's just it makes me really sick. <sighs> to the, see the rhetoric, the <gasps> how they could do this and not let you have a choice. Like th so, some of those unvaccinated people had COVID. Yeah, so, I had it. And they had the antibodies already. Some of those unvaccinated people didn't want to risk it and may, could have made other choices. They, they stayed unvaccinated, but they stayed at home or whatever. Like, why does it have... I hate these people. Oh, and, and, and again, going back to what we are talking about, zero accountability. Where's Dr. Fauci? When's the last time, Shamari, you yeah. saw Dr. Fauci? Be honest. I don't really... I'm, again, and Go this goes back to our last episode yeah. i don't really care too much about fauci anymore it's, you don't it's about the drug dealers and the drug users and right now i'm a little bit mad at us because we fell for it because what we just watched is either really bad marketing or brainwashing Brain and then the fact that the guy is gonna say when you think of the vaccine think of a burger and fries what the fuck? it's an obvious oh play who the hell God. thinks a burger and fries is healthy and this is coming from a fat dude <laughs> you want, well, yo, you want who a in god's of... name thinks that a burger and fries is 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 hmm. equivalent to a cure and health you want and a side of myocarditis you. with that yeah you want to can i get a side of my, myocarditis <laughs> but shamari think about this you're saying we're saying this right now in the moment when the, this was the pandemic the vaccine's out think about how many people bought into that and they're like you know i'm gonna get it this this burger and fries I, was the go over the hump i'm gonna get it now because of that asshole and i'll tell you the thing i remember during the whole time they locked you up in your house told you to stick some experimental thing in your body and not once did anybody ever go outside and say Maybe get some exercise, get some fresh air. Yes. Some Make sure that you got your circulation going. Yeah. Yeah. Not my one cheek. time. Yes. Not one time did a natural, healthy cure ever come to mind. But, but now, well, hold on. And weren't you upset, though? I want to hear what you have to say about this, Chrissy. Well, mm -hmm. Shamari, I, everybody in here agrees 1,000%. Isn't it kind of effed up that anybody that was trying to talk about anything other than the shot was silenced, banned, 
Taken down yeah. off of Twitter, taken down off of YouTube. YouTube. Some you, of them still have Vinny, you have said this on PVD Podcast. It was a test. They wanted to see how much they had their claws in society. And the reason why I, I really do abhor this, as somebody who studied philosophy, there's a, there's a theory or there's a, there's a philosophical quote. I can't remember who it comes from, but it says that if you are willing to give up your security or if you are willing to give up your freedom for a little bit of Eisenhower. security, you deserve neither. The great wow. Dwight D. Eisenhower. Eisenhower. So Eisenhower. people were willing Eisenhower. to give yeah. up their freedom Go sit in your house, take an injection for the idea of security. You didn't even know if it really worked. No, of course. It's an experiment. It's a bunch of sheep. We're yeah. sheeple. Christy, what do you think? Not all of us are sheeple. Oh, yeah. yeah I mean, realistically, us. I'm super, super grateful that I, I was actually living in New York City in my own apartment in Harlem while all of this was happening. So because I was by myself, I was watching everything kind of happen. And I was like, how are people not seeing the inconsistencies, how are people not asking questions? I feel like they were already brainstorming on how to like limit people from even asking a question of like how effective is it? Like just critical thinking. And it was really sad when I saw that, when I saw um, Governor Cuomo at the time, like I just saw them with all this grifting, all this vilifying. I got bullied from certain fans from the show that I was doing. It was like, it was disgusting. And then I was traveling from New York to Florida mm -hmm. during that time when they're like, oh, stay at home, stay. I was doing yeah. everything the opposite. Whenever they told me to stay oh, yeah. inside, I went outside me and too. I went for runs outside mm -hmm. rather yeah. than being in my apartment. Whenever they said, oh, wear your masks even outside, it just didn't make sense to me. I'm like asking questions. I'm like, wouldn't not things like natural immunity, like getting COVID, and I know that for some people it affected it and it made it worse for them, but wouldn't you want to stay healthy? Like, wouldn't you be promoting yeah. like, hey, get active exercise in your apartment, jump rope, take some workout classes, eat healthy. Like, yep. they never focused on that. Then they start promoting things that are literally harmful for you, like burgers, fries. I remember they had like a free donut day yeah. in New York yeah, for Krispy Kreme. Yeah, they were just throwing them out to be so like, right. hey, if you, you got want vaccinated, a glaze? Go ahead, get so a needle in your I ass. I was watching this and I'm like, this just does not make sense to me. And God forbid I ask questions. I started seeing people getting censored on Facebook. I saw scientists that were coming out against the vaccine that while I was watching the video live, it would freeze mm -hmm. and it would just say video no longer available. And Weird. I would call my mom from Miami and I'm like, hey, are you watching these scientists that are saying Weird. to not take the vaccine yet? Yep. And she was like, yeah, culling. it froze. It froze yeah. on me too. So I was just like, this is weird. And it just, you just need to ask questions. I got, I shifted my entire career career because I got fired from two jobs because of the same unions that the writers are now striking against. Wow. Those same unions mm. were literally vilifying me and saying, you need to get vaccinated. I got fired from jobs and I came to Florida and I was like, you know what? I feel like being free. So I'm going to come and I'm going to take my money and I'm going to take it to a state that actually lets me ask questions, that lets me get back to work and that respects the fact that I don't need to get vaccinated. I'd rather be healthy. If anything, get COVID, that's on me. Yep. That's my responsibility. Yep. So why are people just automatically saying, hey, let me just give up my freedoms for a little bit of security? Since when has the government ever cared about you being healthy? I don't trust anybody or ask questions to those people who get money by making me sick. So that was my whole thing. So what angers me is not the fact, it was the fact that they had all that propaganda. What angers me even more is that right now it's apparent that we were correct and people still do not want to ask questions. People are still like, hey, that's a big speculation. It's like, it's just a question. Yeah. And if you're still too like brainwashed to even understand that, then I don't know what else to do for you. Then you've fallen for it. Then you are part of the test that they are happy that you have become this type of person who still wears masks in a car, who will happily take Dumb their asses. fifth, sixth booster, who doesn't ask questions. You are part of the filler that they are looking for, and you are part of the problem here. Amen. Oh and, uh, uh, yes, amen. Christy. Amen. I love because yes, Kelly's over there. Kelly, all yes. the girls are like, let's go. Yeah, Jorge. Thank you. Good audience. Okay, so, and I'm going to ask Dodge, Christy, Kelly, yes, and Jamari, I want to ask you guys a question. All we keep seeing, all we keep seeing is the truth coming out from I mean, we always knew the, the real awake people, not this woke crap. JFK murdered by his government, okay? CIA, mm, FBI, CIA. that's called treason. Treason, they should all be hanged, okay? All of them. All of them. All right, so from that, from every moment in history, to, and I'm going to keep, I'll fast forward, to what they're doing with, with COVID, to Hillary cheating in 2016, all, all, all this stuff, all this, when Watergate, is it going to be? Uh, oh, yeah, 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 exactly. Iran when contract. is enough going to be enough for these sheep, or, or, or are they too brainwashed, to wake up? What is going to be that? And when, when Vivek was talking about revolution, he's like, he's, mm. and he's like, I'm not talking about burning and killing. No, no. When is it going to take? What moment? What, what part of history, if it's going to happen, where human beings, because we're the 99%, they're the 1%, they're the minority. 
What is it going to take for us to be like, you know what? Fuck this, all oh. right? I'm tired. Monday morning, if next Monday everybody went, you know what? Nobody's going to work, okay? None of us are going to get gas. None of we're done with this shit until you guys change. That's the only way it's going to change. But what do you think? What's, what, what's going to have to happen? Kelly, I think I'm going to go to you and then you dodge after her. Well, people are scared to make think for themselves or make their own decisions because one, they could be canceled. Two, it's just easier to do what you're told to do. Me, I was a sheep and I got the vaccine because I my because of my grandmother my parents pressured me into it they were like doctors say it's okay you should do it and I was like but I already had COVID like just should I I just oh. had it I just got over it should I still get yeah, it yeah but that pressure was and heavy Kelly that's crazy. I, that was, I did it my I, family and pressured I me too though. I swear my to God my family did too I I Woke up, the entire left side of my body was numb. I have had issues ever since then. My left arm will hurt all the time now, especially when I'm like upset or angry. Like my left oh, arm, I'm like, fuck. am I gonna have a heart attack? That I, happened to me with I, a weed burn. I, I know something is wrong with me. And that's where I woke up and I was like, okay, I really have to stick to my gut and make my own decisions from now on. Like I can't trust. Oh. I can't trust the government and the news to yeah. tell me the truth. Nope. I have to stick to my gut and do my research and make my own decision. And, you know, sometimes it's hard with your family members to, like, go against what your family is saying because they might believe it too. Or they have a doctor friend. Like, uh, one of my sister's best friends is a nurse and was saying, like, don't get it. And I was oh, like, God. oh, a nurse is telling me not, yeah. not only that. But, but, like, and it has to be okay that you're at peace with yourself that I may, I'm making my decision. If this family member is not going to forgive me for right now, I can try to work on that later, yeah. but I, that, it's hard. Yeah, I can imagine. Shit. I, bro, I, I, I left Los Angeles because all comedy clubs were like, you can't come in here without vaccine. Next I was like, now. bro, I was getting fake vaccination cards. Mm -hmm. I'm, I don't give a shit. I'll say it live. I had a fake ass one. You airport, weren't the only everything. one. Let's yeah, do it. Yeah. Well, Dodge, what were you going to say? So I think that, that Catalyst should change all of this, which is why the Democrats are so scared, is actually Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Mm. Because mm -hmm. I think that the Democratic administration has done a very good job about politicizing the whole COVID and vaccine situation. Mm -hmm. So I was always skeptical. I, I got the Johnson & Johnson, I want to go to Canada, but then after they said, oh, you need more and more, I'm like, hell no. And I, I, I was on a four month long road trip the day COVID, beat. it was actually great. I had. You the are in the open. Good for you. Good yeah, for you. but anyway, so what they successfully did is Democrats said, well, if you are more liberal on abortion, if you are more open on immigration and a little more tolerant, uh, if you are more socially liberal, well, then guess what? You have to, in your pro environment, you have to be pro vaccine because all of these kind of violently anti violently conservative social issues all those those are the those are the crazy people. you don't agree with them on those mm -hmm. issues yeah. they're the people that are against the vaccine yeah. and then all of a sudden you see Robert Kennedy who is waking up a lot of libertarians a lot of moderates mm -hmm. a lot of progressives who still support civil liberties cuz guess what that's a liberal ideal to safeguard your civil liberties and that is why the Democratic Party is trying so hard to bury Robert mm -hmm. Kennedy. And even if he doesn't win this time around, he is going to have a significant yeah. voice. And the next Democratic nominee, I think, will be vaccine skepti skeptical. Skepticism. This is the beginning Good. of a huge movement, and the Democrats are shaking in their boots. I hope Can so. you imagine? Wow. I feel like for the first time, I feel like everybody would be comfortable to see RFK on the Democratic side and like... Trump or of like course, Vivek right. or someone like that go against each other. Because then I'd be happy whoever won, I wouldn't be mad. Right. Yeah, because whoever won, I'd be like, okay, no, I can and, deal with him. And RFK was the one, I read his book, I read The Real Anthony Fauci, I strongly recommend it, get it hardcover because people can change things online. You're going to be scared um, as shit You're going to be scared, it. it's yeah. going to be really emotional, but it's really enlightening and eye-opening on like what Fauci has done. 80 since studies. The eight, yeah, 80, yeah, since the AIDS epidemic, but like RFK was the one who opened my eyes to it and I saw it and I was like, wow, I respect this man so much, even if I don't believe like even if I don't agree with everything that he says I could listen to this man because you know what he even said in the beginning of the book this isn't about Republican or Democrat this is about getting to the truth right. yep. about the American people as a whole getting affected from this so I have, I have tremendous respect for him he has the courage to stand Big up time. to it I love it I love, dude and think about him having that voice now and being that person knowing they killed your uncle and your yeah, father yeah. Died, dude man. Oh my, he is yep. so, listen, I said this, I think I said this once, Shamari, it might have been on this show, Kelly, I go, you know how lucky RFK is yeah. that technology, he better wake up every morning and clap yeah. for the iPhone because everybody has a camera, they can't do him <laughs> dirty like they yeah. did. There's not just Zapruder on one guy with a grassy knoll 
Everybody and their mother has a Zapruder film now. Well, you can watch them, they won't now try. instead of just CNN, which yeah. is nice, Yeah, too. exactly, yeah. exactly. And to get back to your question, like, when is enough enough? I think that what we're seeing right now is the revolution I hope that Vivek God. was talking about at the town hall meeting. I feel like when you have people who are courageous enough to stand against the establishment, and the Kennedys have always been anti-establishment, Vivek spoke wonderfully, and he's a young one. He's only 38 years old, so whether he gets the nomination or not this time around, we have a bright future in like a young person yep. who has the energy to do it, I think that that's what shakes it. People who are courageous like Trump, who, who like fight against the system that has clearly not been for us, who have suppressed us, who have kept us in the dark. I think those people, when you have those courageous people, and more people need to step up, I think we need more of that. I, I think that that's what's happening now, and that's why they're trying so hard on both sides of to course. silence these types of, of people. Of course, and, and, it's, and it doesn't just stop with COVID. Climate change is another one of these oh, yeah. John Kerry's just Al Gore. All these, all these con Greta. artists. Greta Thunberg laughing. Her, Greta Thunberg laughs in our freaking faces about how she's rich. It. She's winning it. And yeah. and I saw. By the mind you, this is this is just clip week on the Vincent O'Shaughnessy <laughs> show. I saw a clip of a billionaire. I'm pretty sure some of you guys saw it of uh, Dan Pena. He's a multi multi billionaire. Yeah, he, he's he a real asked, nice guy. Very oh, warm and sweet. Very warm and sweet. Yeah. <laughs> But, you know, some <laughs> Australian lady stands up in the crowd. She's like, "Hi, right, Dan, you have all the money. What are y'all going to do with the, the ocean rising? Uh, by, by the way, that was the worst Australian <laughs> English accent. <laughs> all right. Like I was like, the ocean, mate. But she, uh, I'm pretty sure you guys have, saw, have seen this. She stands up and tries to talk shit about him, about the ocean rising. And he made a great <laughs> point about how if the oceans are rising, then why are banks selling 30 to 40 year mortgages? I got to wow. Kelly, Kelly, just show it really fast so we can react to it. What are you guys going to do when our that's, ocean level rises? That's a good answer. Now you're full of shit. Sit down. <laughs> I'm going to answer him. you. Fuck I'm going to answer you. Shut up and you. shut up and Fuck sit you. down. <laughs> sit down. No. No. If the water on the planet rise up 10 feet, that means the southern part of the United States is gone. England is gone. Most of Europe is gone. And I can go, uh, most of Central America is gone. And I'm, I'm jealous of the Vice President Gore. I am jealous he came up with a scam before I did. Because the financial institutions, the banks of this world know it's not gonna happen. Otherwise, you couldn't get a goddamn loan in London. You know those 30, 40 year mortgages? The world will be over by then. Is Barclays Bank gonna give you a motherfucking loan? With the greatest respect, ma'am, it's the greatest fraud that's been perpetrated on mankind this century. Like, what a, what a maniac to say, I'm jealous that I didn't come up with this built multi-billion so dollar scam. It's so true. Oh, he's because, a sociopath. Guys, That's like you and Joe Biden's son. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. By the way, just think about it, guys. The climate changes all the time. I, like, I get it. Go ahead, Kelly, say because I, I want to make a point. Go ahead. I feel like the government always needs a way to control us. So whether it's a vaccine or, or climate change, it's like an, an apocalypse so that you can feel like you have to do something. Of course. Remember, remember even Fear. AOC is like, hey, guys. Guys, we got 12 years, and the world's going to be over. Well, bitch, Greta Thunberg said two months ago it was going to be over. I just want to smoke weed and jack up. But, that's but, it, Dodge. Yeah, just a nice, wholesome say, Christian. Not to say Good that job, we don't Dodge. need to take better <laughs> care of our planet. No, there are no, listen, piles of trash, piles I, of clothes. I fall victim, because listen, if one of these climate activist people were in my apartment, I got plastic and shit that's not supposed to be. I throw everything. I just, Straws. I, yeah, <laughs> straw, oh, by the way. Fuck sea turtles. I, I use oh nine God. plastic straws. <laughs> when I used to do cocaine, I would just These go, are his own opinion. fuck turtles. All right? There's, a, there's, more, but, there's homeless but, people <laughs> dying outside of my street, and you're worried about some... Listen, I can give a shit. But then here's the thing. It's funny. When I see the video of that guy, and I, and I, I did some research about climate change, isn't it, isn't it funny how all the wealthy climate change activists tell us that the water's rising, but they buy house beachfront yeah. on the ocean. properties, right? Hold on. They scream global warming, but they're all on private jets, all right? They tell you to save the environment, they use child labor to dig up cobalt. You know they, they push this agenda because we're much easier to control when we have to depend on electricity. Mm -hmm. You know why? They can just shut your ass off. That's the push, that's their goal. It's another fear factor, but dude, I'm just, ti I'm just tired of it. Didn't they just do that in New York, by the way? what they Where do? they were doing like with the air conditioning or like the gas stove. Oh yeah, there's no more gas, you can't make pizza. Yeah, they, no more, you can't make- Gas uh, stoves? The gas stove, the, the, even yeah. the brick oven pizza in yeah. New York. And New Yorkers, like, I'm waiting for the mafia to come a back and of, like, the fuck, what are you talking no, about? No, a lot of them are like- What am I, an asshole? No more fucking <laughs> pizza? Uh, 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 and just bring the mafia back, Giuliani's gone. It's happening in California too. <laughs> there's a lot of Asian restaurants that use like the, the grills and stuff. And 
they don't want to do them anymore. That's horse shit, bro. Because, well, well, I like at, at some point Benihana. we have to start taking better care of the planet. But there are there there were in, what's, in, what's it called? What? At, Digressing, ebb and flow. Little little. We could be doing this, but we're doing. Digressing. Stupid shit. I just love it because I was looking at her hands like I, I felt like we were doing charades. I'm like, I'm like, a graph, a chart. Damn I was it. trying to say mountains out of molehills, but it didn't I work. Was it appropriate? I love it. Wait, well, I just love it because then you started, and I almost had like a, a <laughs> yeah, flashback. Like, like, yeah. yeah I'm so stressed. I'm like breaking. Up. All right, guys, I love it. So I don't even know how much time we have left, but because I don't know, but well, like, we have some time because we have to do dodge, and then yeah. we're good. Yeah. Anyway, all right, guys, I'm still here. We're gonna move on. Uh, we're gonna check in right now. You've heard him. You've seen him. Yes. Beautiful, Fortunately. sexy guy. Thank He's you. He's our in 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 house uh, correspondent, international sex icon, and he loves to smoke to weed and masturbate. And we're gonna move to the section Dodge Landsman with time. Dodge This. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Dodge, can you can you please let us know what is happening? Uh, Yes. Because you have your foot to the fire. You're you're in the you're in the streets. I want to know what's happening. Please. I I, I am in the streets. I, live I love in your the haircut. Streets. By I the way, I buy drugs Yo, in the streets. Where'd you come? You. Where were you? I, I I was in Los Angeles. Actually. Doing what? Uh, I was covering a trial. I uh, as I uh, explained long ago, I used to be a TV news anchor. I got fired uh, for uh, mentioning. Uh, an actor who was in Scientology who went on trial yeah. uh, for assault and much worse. And so, uh, and then I got a big community of the anti-Scientology people. Yes. So I went out there and uh, and covered it. And hey, if you want to Google, go. If you, I have a GoFundMe. Go I've raised like 2,000. Oh, you want to support me, it's Dodge Landisman. Go. Uh, but uh, yeah, so flying out there and trying to cover justice for those victims. And just, Dodge, and, really. Got too, so thank you. Dodge, really, really fast. Did you bang any Scientology people? <laughs> no, no. Okay, good, okay, Too many good. strings attached. Okay. All right, Dodge, let's get into these stories. Talk to but us. But I did bake Xenu once. That was fun. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Nice, yeah. nice. So, All right, Dodge, story. give it to us. But yeah, we got some interesting news. Uh, Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas is in some hot water after a friend gifted him a $250,000 RV. Thomas had accepted a number of other illegal gifts. When he reached for comment, his friend said he was proud to help America's second black Supreme Court justice become the first black guy to own an RV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dodge! I've never seen a black guy in an RV, by the way. I don't think I've ever, Shut I mean, that's a novelty. Me neither, that's a first. That's a novelty. <laughs> oh my God. Go ahead, Dodge. <laughs> Dodge, <laughs> Dodge, Dodge, Dodge has been shattering bit. stereotypes for decades. Okay, go ahead, Dodge. I can see, oh, there's Putin's head. There you go, there you go, there you go, perfect. perfect. Russian President Russian President Vladimir Putin appeared in public recently, shaking hands with his fellow countrymen, a rare move for the shadowy dictator. It was going well until an effeminate man tried to shake Putin's hands. In response, he slit his throat KGB style. <laughs> By the way, anti-gays, yeah. there's, you can't Russia be gay in Russia. Russia. Oh, bro, that's why I tell people in America, you can do whatever you want here. You go to Red Square and you wear like a rainbow, you disappear. You're dead. Yeah, all right, go oh, ahead, Actor Hugh Grant has been tapped <laughs> to play. Yeah, an interesting, interesting story. I mean, just, just let that soak in for a second, even for the joke. Yeah, go ahead, Dodge. I mean, they do look alike. Actor Hugh Grant. I thought it was him. I know. <laughs> I thought it was him. It actually might. Oh, I think that is him. Wow. Yeah, I think that's him. Uh, he's all made up. I think. God, I actually don't know. That it looks like. What if that's him? Look it up now. Yes, cocaine no, eyebrows. He just looks a lot like one. <laughs> Actor Hugh Grant has been tapped to play a prominent role as an Oompa Loompa in the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory remake. George Coppin, a well-known actor with dwarfism, called the casting decision unfair. He noted that no matter how hard his community tries, they always seem to come up short. <laughs> oh my God. God. I read this last night on my couch and it's cried favorite. laughing. God. Cried, Dodge. Hilarious. No. Oh, look how angry he's he is. Mean, right? <laughs> he's so angry. Justice, justice for Coppin. Oh my he, God. he makes a good point, though. He should. Yeah, what the hell? You grants like six they foot, do come dude. up short. Yeah, he did come Literally up Literally and figuratively. Oh my God, go ahead, Dodge. <laughs> so justice, justice for Koppen. Iceland, whose small population means many in the nation are related, has created an app where your family tree is processed automatically, indicating to a user if they are masked with a cousin, allowing a potential date to be avoided. But the state of Mississippi has purchased the use of their app, <laughs> making it much easier for users to find and sleep with their cousins. Oh my <laughs> God. Like, it's like, like it's an incest app. Yeah. 
disgusting. Yes, Dodge. Gross. Yes. Celebrity pets are exploring. Our celebrity pets are exploding with their own profiles on Instagram. It's a great way for celebrities to show love for the pets they are too busy to care for and actually spend time with. Oh my God! <laughs> what, what, what a is good that photo, Dodge. That dog is like, where are you, Marky Mark? <laughs> that's what it is. Post an IG. That's about it. Go ahead, Dodge. That's a serious neglect. Uh, let's see. I'm getting the right story. Okay. Format. There we go. Toward okay. Chrissy Teigen posted some adorable photos of her young child in an exotic locale while on vacation. While there, Tegan has been teaching her child how to torture the exotic wildlife so she can grow up to be a bully just like her mom. <laughs> She's a scumbag. That is very really right. teaching her to torture I love it. <laughs> That's not even her daughter's arm. It's just some blankets. <laughs> I love it, Dodge. A couple renewed their vows as after 66 years of marriage when they both found themselves next to each other in the hospital for different reasons. Really sweet. Their daughter said the experience was unforgettable, which is kind of mean considering that both her parents are suffering from severe dementia. Yeah, you're so bad. <laughs> oh, shit. They have no idea who they are. They're like, who is this <laughs> bitch? Like, I'm like, what? That's so funny, dude. <laughs> They're handcuffed together? Yeah, they have no idea. <laughs> go ahead, Dodge. It's very inconsiderate. Oh, there he is. <laughs> this one has three, right, Dodge? Yep, yeah. Right, here I'll we remember. go. Don't worry. Justin Trudeau has announced that he's splitting up with his wife, Sophie Gregoire after 18 years of marriage, which means that Melania can finally go get her man. <laughs> but after Trudeau's visit with French President Emmanuel Macron, it's obvious the dude's already <laughs> taken. <laughs> Another gay rumor, yes, Dodge! I mean, that one just, I mean, Bro. You, can, you could guess about Obama. You don't have to guess about No, Dodge, Trudeau. move your seat a little bit Obama. to the other side, because like, I want them to see, look at, why is his forehead on his forehead? Oh my no, God. No, listen, Peter, have yeah. you ever had your forehead in another man's forehead? A dusty line. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Yeah, I would never, I've never had my forehead in another man's forehead. I like giggling. Yeah, and those are real photos, by the way. Those are not Those are totally bullshit. real, yeah. All right, go yeah. ahead, Dodge. No, there's a lot of rumors to Kelly that. Trudeau, one. Kelly Kelly one. Trudeau and Obama, cute couple, just saying. Very oh, cute. Oh Very cute. I was waiting just for saying. that. Yeah. Bar Barack say Trudeau. <laughs> I like that. Okay, go. Cute. A landlord in Queens raided one of his buildings after it was reported that they were running a massive brothel. He was disgusted to find condoms thrown out all over the floor. Ugh. In light of this news and my upcoming trip to New York, I have canceled my appointment at that brothel. <laughs> Nobody told me I'd have to use protection. <laughs> <laughs> Dodge goes raw dog. Dodgy, let's go. <laughs> oh Not God. okay. What a photo. Look Not at that okay. little guy. What a sad condom. <laughs> what a condom. Oh. What a condom. God. And Rudy Giuliani is in hot water after a sexual abuse lawsuit revealed a number of questionable text messages. The former mayor ranted about Jewish people accusing them of having small penises. Unfortunately, as a Jew myself, I have to confirm that his statement is 100% accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dodge. <laughs> and that's Dodge this. Woo! That's it, Dodge. Give it over, Dodge. Baby. Ladies, see for yourself. Go, Dodge. I love Ke I love Kelly because Kelly Kelly's like I read these and oh my god I don't know what to do I'm like it's crazy they're, they're, I love them I love them when how much are we more time canceled? we got e? how much more time Milan we got some time we're good all right we're gonna go through these quick um so guys we're gonna go thank you Dodge I love you to death it's thank you love you love all uh, y'all we're gonna go to our next segment where we're gonna talk <laughs> a bunch of shit and it is called venting with Vinny <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. venting <laughs> oh with Vinny. Okay. All right. First story, Christy actually reported it on valuetainment.com. Uh, a Florida woman, Kelly, can you put this up so they can see this? Um, a Florida woman faces hundreds of child pornography and bestiality charges. Uh, investigators with the Sheriff's Office Internet Predator Unit searched and found 18 year old uh, Emery Romero. Uh, police had to search through her phone where disturbing files of her engaging in sexual acts with her pet dog were found, all right? She's been charged with 100 counts to film, distribute, possess an image or video of sexual activity with an animal, 49 counts of engaging in sexual contact with but an animal. But what was the dog wearing? <laughs> oh my right, two God. Two counts of child pornography possession and a single count of unuseful use of a two-way communication device. Okay, okay, you could go back to us. How lonely do you have to be? Because mind you, she's not a bad looking 18-year-old girl. Girls could get laid 
whenever they want. What is wrong with someone that has to, like, and mind you, she was hooking up with this dog, Christy, and she recorded it. I'm yeah. just curious, how do you, was the dog having sex with her? And how did she get that? To, did she put like a snack, a treat on her neck? <laughs> and she's like, come and, come and get it, Pluto. Like, Chrissy, you reported this. What oh the hell? Oh my gosh, I don't know. She just seems so, I don't even know anymore. I feel, does anything surprise Christy, you guys? No. I'm starting to see a trend here. Like, well, you, you know keep what? Because, because, no, because, because, it's because let me just say, let me just say, so that yeah. everybody, <laughs> No one's like reporting on this stuff, and I'm like, come on, this is like, this I don't is know. crazy. I don't want to look at your your search history. <laughs> I oh, have to look at it. That's my job. Yeah, that's I mean, it's, right, right. I, it's not like I go home and I look at bestiality. Like, yeah, I'm just saying, last yes. week. That was last <laughs> week. We got two no, weeks to this. All right. But I just had like, what? You're 18. You're good looking. You're so weird, Shamar. Yeah, Shamar is so I'm weird. I'm not the weird one reporting this shit. I she has to report it. It's Florida. Like, it's child porn. Peter? What? Like, my question is, though, Chrissy, like, at Okay, she's 18. There has to be something really wrong with you to, and mind you, like Hunter Biden does the same thing. What is up with all these people doing stupid shit and recording it? Can you explain that to me? What is, what's the, it's what's the, the age we're living in, you know? No, but you want to see, you want to see yourself with a dog after? Do you think I don't, it's like just attention seeking? I think people I mean, are so she lost. She can make money off of this, so, oh, no, I'm, you know. I'm, yeah, well, I mean, yeah. that's definitely an aspect. I mean, it's tempting. Only, you make money over the like that. But like, a, <laughs> look at, I mean, if you see her picture, it's just like, she seems so lost. I don't she know. She was lost, but it's like, dude, like, I, I, like what dude. else is there to do? Like, you're so young and you just yeah. decide, you know what? I'm going to record. Myself yeah. with my dog Chuchi I, I or whatever her name is. I think it's the age we're living in, man. Everybody Chuchi is just recording she's from Florida. all Kelly. of the wildest things that they're doing. Kelly, you have a look of like, what, like, do you understand? I can't believe it. It doesn't make any sense, and I don't understand. Like in my brain, I don't know how you even freaking think of this. Like a dog. Like, <laughs> like okay. I'm how? pretty sure how? Young, there's what, young. What part of your brain goes? I want to do that dog. I mean, I used <laughs> I to try to TP that, my though. stuff Snorlax, so. Say it oh. again? I used to try to teepee my stuffed Snorlax. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <kidding>. gosh. <laughs> He's kidding. Listen, guys, it doesn't get more honest than Dodge, all right? Oh, oh my he God. He wears his heart on his sleeve, damn it. Do not do that. What I do, like, I mean, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's young boys out there that have put, like, you've heard stories like, oh, peanut butter in your balls. and Because the dog, ha by the way, dogs love peanut butter, so that's really fucked up to do for the oh, dog. Because, you know, the dog's like, dude, put it on a plate. <laughs> Why? You Why put are you putting it on your balls, dude? On your balls? People, look at people have, have been doing weird that, things Shumari? along. Shamari, <laughs> have you ever searched something like that? Have you searched? Oh yes, Shamari. Peanut, 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 peanut butter on your ball sack? No, but I think it was an American Pie. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've never seen oh, that. Okay. That's All gross. I'm saying is I think people have been doing a lot of weird things for a long, oh, long, well, long time. I think that right now we just we have cameras so accessible that we just put everything that we do stupidly on tape. It's disgusting. Like, and for instance, like, even going back to everything we talked about this entire episode, man, I think that we're just way too close to each other. I think that's the biggest problem with modern society, because mm. everybody used to be able to do weird, weird shit because no, they live a yeah. mile away from their neighbor and three miles this way. And there's no internet. But now we literally live on top of one another. We yeah. see each other every day. The internet Proximity. has us more connected than ever. Oh, I, I think the internet, well, I, I do agree. Kelly, what were you going to say? Wouldn't that be a good thing, then, because less people are doing this stupid shit? No, because freedom... Freedom is 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 at stake when you have judgment there, right? Word. So people are free to do whatever they want to do, but then when you bring the You're judgment into the picture, when when you bring the judgment into the picture, it allow it it stifles you from doing certain things, and it also is a detriment to you when you go uh, into like government and politics. No, and no, no. Like there that. is right and wrong, and you do not abuse animals or people like that. You right. just don't. So, but, but, right I mean, and tomorrow, wrong. Hold on. But so what was she saying is, because mm. I mean, she probably had child pornography. I didn't go. The story didn't really say the specifics because they, they don't really get into it when it comes to children. But a do like having sex with a dog is illegal. Isn't it? Yeah. I, I Bestiality so. is, is a freaking yes. crime. I think it's not just dogs. Dogs. Animals have rights. Yeah. It's not dogs just... have rights. And it's like, I, and I, go ahead, Kelly, say what you're going to say. I mean, I know in the Bible, too, it doesn't say, like, that animals have souls or anything, but it's a, a creature. We're, you know, in charge of protecting this earth. We're in charge of protecting our children. We're in tar charge of protecting animals. Like, you're not supposed to do that. It's wrong. And, by the way, well, hold on. I don't know what the Bible says. I know I kind of read that. But Karina's dog, Bunker, does have a soul. Because that know. fucking dog. That's the Listen, yeah. Karina's dog. Wait, let me dog explain something to you. I've seen a lot of dogs. Name, Names are uh, adorable. Cool. That dog will, like, you'll be chilling over here, and Karina's dog will look at you. And I'm not even joking. They'll look at you like this. 
I, uh, <laughs> and then he'll go back to whatever he's doing. I'm like, who are you, he's dude? A majestic, he's a gentleman. <laughs> like, I see him sitting heaven. with like tea and like. Just, <laughs> he drinks tea. Yeah, yeah, he's just like, yeah, she's I, I she's believe over a reincarnation. Uh, I think that dog was somebody and it got reincarnated. Oh, no, dude. Yes. And I, I sure. always say this. If so she knows. nobody knows, the, the number one unanswered question in life is what happens when you die. Nobody knows. I don't care when people go, I died and I saw life. <laughs> you know, that's your brain. <laughs> nobody knows. But what if, this? because like I get crazy, nobody can ask questions or here's my question. What if when you die, you come back as a dog and you're your owner treats you how you treated dogs your entire life. Oh. I'm good. You're good. My mom is fucked. Oh. <laughs> my mom is always like, get that fucking dog out of my face. My, my mom can't even like go near this. My mommy hates dogs. Her owner's Aww. gonna fucking abuse it. <laughs> she won't be a dog. <laughs> she won't. No, yeah, she'll be like a, a peacock just going. But like, peacocks are the most cockiest asshole. You ever see a peacock? They're just like. Eh, I mean, it's in oh, the name. Oh, it's 8 a.m. <laughs> For no reason. Yeah, hello. hello. Bitch. Yeah. <laughs> hello, everybody. <laughs> All right, last story. Really, really fast because we're, we're tight on time. Very tight. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, um, gross. Uh, Kelly, you have this story. The yes. USA women's national soccer team lost the other day wah. to uh, who cares? Wah, 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 to Sweden and penalty kicks this week. What is soccer? Yeah, exactly. It's You actually use your socks. <laughs> Foolish uh, American. Apparently, soccer fans are happy but aren't are happy about the loss. Many fans are devastated, other were happy. U.S. women's national team has become a polarizing topic for many, especially those in the political world, and much of the right appears to be happy that they lost. It looks like, this is one of the, one of the fans wrote, it looks like the anti-American, anti-woman activist, Megan Raponi, uh, yeah. Rapino, yeah, Rapino. whatever, I can give a shit about her name, uh, led Team USA into the loss and kicked out of the World Cup. She actually missed a penalty kick that would have uh, one of the penalty kicks that would uh, make them advance. By the way, this is the earliest exit of the U.S. Uh, national team ever. Trump had to weigh in because yeah. she said uh, a couple years ago when they were like, we had yeah, yeah, dodge. Of course he did. If uh, He's like the anti-woke police. Uh, <laughs> she said, they asked her, would you go to the White House if you guys win this? She's like, I would never fuck the White House. And she's one of these kneeling, fuck the national anthem. So it does make me feel good. But Trump said, I mean, the look shocking, the, Trump said the shocking and totally unexpected loss by the U.S. women's soccer team to Sweden is fully emblematic of what is happening to our once great nation under crooked Joe Biden. I love that he just has to talk shit. He goes, many of our players um, were openly hostile to America. No other country behaved in such a manner or even close. Woke equals Failure and mind you, when you trust the country, you do shit, bro. You're, you're gonna get people that are going to be against you. And isn't it weird? It's the same as it's always people like that that know that their career is going down. Same as Colin Kaepernick. You ever notice the career is going to shit, nobody's talking about you, you don't even have a job anymore, and all of a sudden, this great nation that made you prosper and you flourish and you're freaking you made it you're the you're the example now all of a sudden we're all racist everybody sucks this country is shit your bill Co uh, colin kaepernick a couple months ago shamar remember i walked in the office he's selling a book and now all of a sudden he's like you know what my white mother's a racist bitch it's like dude she adopted you where are your real parents at you asshole yeah. he was like one day she's like you shouldn't wear corn rolls well maybe she didn't like your hairstyle, oh, dude. Now you're throwing them under the bus, and he sold mad books. I can't wait for the next thing that he wants to sell. He's gonna be mm. like, you know what? We had a chihuahua, and it <laughs> called me weird and black. Like, come on, like, it when depends. is enough enough? You yeah. feel me? So, like, I feel you, man. Because honestly, man, two things. One, you only really talking shit when you're losing. 100%. The winners ain't talking. The winners I are winning. Agree. And, and when you got nothing going on, you got no motion, this is what's, this mm -hmm. is what's moving. Yeah, this country, this country that's such... Shitty bitch, you're playing soccer. You're kicking a ball with your or, or green, whatever fucking color hairs, making millions of dollars with sponsors and shit. And then they asked her at the end of the, the the loss, they asked her, "What was your most memorable moment playing soccer?" And she was like, "The equal pay movement that I tried." Like, no, bitch, a goal, your header sliding in, your teams. Why has it got to be so negative? All these people, like LeBron, when LeBron James complains about everything, I'm like, bro. How are, we, how are you so oppressed? Look at you. Yeah. You're a fucking superstar. Yeah. Yes, yes, there's racism, bro. I'm Middle Eastern. I get it sometimes. I can only imagine how black people get it, but it's nowhere near what it used to be. You can't solve it up. When I see signs, especially on soccer fields, where it says, cure racism. Like, bro, I'm sorry. It's, you're never going to... There's assholes in Mississippi and places in Alabama. You're not going to change some 
swamp asshole to change his mind. But guess what? We progress. We're we're killing it. The major cities, uh, I, us. We're I'll winning. tell you how I feel about racism, man. I think it goes back to exactly what I was saying about we're too close to one another, right? So, I think freedom also allows you to not like some shit. So, right, maybe you don't like me because I'm black. Maybe you don't like me because of whatever. Maybe I don't like you because of whatever. It's, just, it's still my right to not like you. It's, yeah. you know, I, it, I can do whatever the fuck I want. Because we have civil rights doesn't mean I have to like everybody or everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? And once you start taking away the, the right of people to not like things and people to have their own prejudices, that's when you get into this totalitarian government, this, this whole one world, WEF, yeah. everything that they're trying to yeah. pile on to us. I agree. We have no boundaries. We have no, we have no sense of self. We have no identity. It's just this one... This one mono, I, love I don't even know what the word is. It's just a. It's, it's just, the, it's like Kelly's chart when she did with her hands. It's like an obelisk. It's <laughs> well, just this uh, one thing. I love that. And by the because listen, everybody in here, everybody a in here. solitary identity. Everybody is a little racist. And I'm going to be honest with you, I myself sometimes mess up. It happened recently. I'm I racist told, against white people. I'm very racist towards you, Dodge. Oh, I, I love know. you. And I I'm nervous you. around white I women. I hate myself. But, uh, you guys want to, this is actually really messed up. <laughs> This is one I'm of the most, nervous. one one racist thing that, that I did recently, and it, it really really bothered me afterwards. But I get a I get an alert. Somebody from India charged two hundred and eighty dollars on my thing, and I go, son of a bitch. I go, Mup. so I go to my Chase app. Like I know I'm going on the app, and I hit the one eight hundred Chase app, and I swear to God, the I, it picks up, and the person goes. Hello, Mr. Vincent. I go, no, nope, and I hung up on him. <laughs> I go, you guys know. I go, wait a minute. Was that your cousin that stole? Like. Racism bleeds it. Dude, I hung up on a guy that works at Chase because the accent matched the country. That, that's oh, like, man. come on, you gotta, you gotta let me slide on that racism. Oh, and I'll tell you the second thing about that whole soccer thing. <laughs> who, watch, I, who watches female soccer? And, I, lesbians. I don't watch any I, female whenever, sports unless whenever. it's volleyball. Okay? The same people that watch the WNBA. The same people that are watching the WNBA. Are you guys watching our, female sports on a day to day? Kelly, one of our, unless our, it's volleyball. What? Well, one of our yeah, biggest fans and avid watcher, Karina Green, has, what about the men? Are they going to ask the men again to pay for their freaking salaries now that they lost? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And mind you, she, you know what she said uh, before we close out? Megan Rapinoe. What's her Rapino. name? Rapino said when they asked Rapin her about lost. trends coming into the league, she goes, I'm all for it. Mm -hmm. And then people were going in on it. They're like, hey, you know what, Megan? What, if, there were, if there were some trans dudes on your team, y'all would have clean the house y'all would still be in there what kelly you're shaking your head she's just she's just how do you be anti-american and then you play for the team for and then you team. excuse your loss as anybody yeah. else's fault but your own uh -huh. i said it last time satanists and contrarians man it's no more feminism they just That's, oh, they just want anarchy and whatever there's just yeah, oh. no boundaries no walls no rules no no fucking the, the trans movement no really regulation showed, of anything the trans movement did expose the shit out of feminism because i'm like where y'all at Remember, remember the bad man, the men, the, the guys with the balls? Now they're saying they're you. And y'all were just like, yeah, they, they're strong heroes. No, you dumb bitch, he has balls. Big hairy, He's gonna destroy stupid, you. dumb, hanging to his knees, balls. Oh. It's ma'am. You didn't hear the bass in his voice. The feminist movement was just hijacked and it's exposing It's hijacked, but, but what? But From you should be yelling feminism. even louder. It's a, it's a me men are coming in. The same people that oppress you for voting and rights and harassment. Th it, where are you at? You're just sitting on your hand. No, you just, whatever. If you say you're this, you're this. It's horse shit. Yeah. It's horse shit. All right, anyway. All right, guys, yeah. listen. <laughs> guys, I had a great time. We did a bunch of, the, Kelly did a bunch of this. It was a bunch of Mari even did one of these, was... which I loved. Um, I think we solved. I'm always doing this. I know, now that we solved the world's problems, Correct. I think yeah. we did it. Um, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. You guys have no idea. Like I said earlier, we passed 15,000 subscribers. In another eight years, we'll get like three or four thousand more. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. But, right. uh, guys, this is this is a show like nobody else. I appreciate you, Christy, Shamari, Kelly, Dodge, everybody in the casa, Maverick, Elon, everybody, Peter, Karina, everybody in here, even Bunker. Jeremy, okay. everybody in our house, Deli, Mike, I love you guys to death. Um, Chrissy, tell them. <laughs> Jeremy in the back. <laughs> All the editors just here. Um, and Andres, too. Uh, uh, and Jorge, where's my poppy in the back? Jorge! Um, there he is. Hey, Chrissy, uh, 
Chrissy, let them know. Chrissy, give everybody your, your Instagram because you're you're blowing up. And then Shamari, give them yours. Chrissy, go ahead. Yeah, you guys can follow me at, at Christy underscore Pradas. I have some really, really cool stuff in the works. So if you want to follow me, follow me there. Shamari? You can find me at Shamari underscore CNS if you want to look at my face. Uh, Chill Ninja Society if you want to just follow the family and you see everything that's going on around us. Nice. Kelly? At Sweet as Jelly, I am taking applications. Sweet as Jelly. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Dodge? Dodge Landisman, and I am an internet prostitute now for my GoFundMe. So just my name, <laughs> Dodge Landisman. Dodge Landisman. Oh <laughs> um, guys, I love you guys to death. Listen, take care of each other. Be nice to each other. I'll see you guys next week. Peace and love. Yeah. Yeah.